Turning now to your community focus, this Black History Month, we're talking about the importance of diversity and inclusion when it comes to your mental health. Joining me today, Dr. Michael Broder, board director of the Rhode Island Psychological Association. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much, Kim. I'm glad to be here. So you guys have an event coming up on Friday that was sort of inspired by an apology that was put out by the American Psychological Association back in 2021. Can you walk us through what that apology was? Sure. The American Psychological Association issued an informal apology to people of color in October 2021 to acknowledge our history of racism both past and present within psychology. In this apology, it's important to acknowledge that this was long overdue. Associations like the Association for Black Psychologists have been calling out racism and white supremacy within psychology since 1968. And it's also important to acknowledge that Dr. Martin Luther King came to APA in 1967 and basically challenged APA to look inward at our own profession to see what is the racism within the field. Mm -hmm. And so here we are more than 55 years later trying to do that work. And so APA began a three-step process. The first part was to carefully document examples of racism within psychology. And the second part was to then figure out what does an authentic apology even look like? Mm. Because just seeing words uh, without taking responsibility is an empty gesture. The third part was then figuring out, well, what is our plan? So how are we actually gonna try to ram, you know, rectify the harms within the field? And so APA developed a racial equity plan to try to begin to figure out how do we uh, create more inclusive systems within research, within healthcare, within education, but that work is still ongoing. And it's important to recognize that the apology was only a step, it's not a finish line. I was looking at some data, um, and according to the Mental Health Association of Rhode Island, the vast majority of providers in Rhode Island are white. We have the data here that people can look at. 84.4% are white, just a small percentage are providers of color. How important is it to have a diverse pool of providers that people can get care from? Yes. Well, it's extremely important. And let's just take a look at the events, even just within the last few weeks to mm -hmm. illustrate that. So we see yet again, another video of a black man being murdered by the hands of law enforcement. And that type of racial trauma really affects people. It affects everybody that sees those images. But for a person of color, you know that, that history is also compounded by 400 years of racial trauma. And then when you're trying to search for a provider that can help you to work through that, if you go to look in the field, you're gonna see the lack of representation within that field. And it's gonna be hard to find that you can have somebody that understands your experiences. So that's where inclusivity and better representation really matters. And just quickly before I let you go, if someone at home is struggling or looking for more information, mm -hmm. where can they go? Uh, so the Rhode Island Psychological Association is an excellent resource to do that. Um, where I would also like to have folks check out the Association of Black Psychologists mm -hmm. that is also having uh, networks of resources both nationally and internationally to help find providers of color. All right, Dr. Michael Broder, thanks so much for your time today. Great, thank you so much, Kim.